Hey there guys, so I'm adding an extra intro into this video which is going to be a little different from what I would normally do because I honestly really debated, I went back and forth on whether I should post this video right now or not, period. Because of all of the things that are much more important than this video that are going on in America specifically right now, but also just in the world. So I didn't want to just post this video of me sharing my to-do list and like talking to my kids and tie-dyeing and whatever without first recognizing that like I'm able to do these things right now because I have privilege. I had originally planned on filming on Saturday and ended up deciding that I really needed to spend the day doing a lot of listening, a lot of reflecting, a lot of praying, and a lot of just identifying my privilege and being uncomfortable and being willing to talk about it. I had some conversations both in my personal life and on social media, specifically mostly on my Instagram, but also on Facebook where I just felt like I needed to use my voice and stand up for what is right. I teach my kids to be upstanders versus bystanders. You don't stand by and let somebody say something to your friend or hurt somebody. And you would never stand by and like watch somebody do that and not say anything. And I feel like if I'm teaching my kids to do that on the playground, like I need to be doing that in my own life as well. And I feel like by being quiet for so long online, I have been complacent and I have been a bystander to this and I have hid behind my privilege for a long time. And that's something that I'm working on. I'm not perfect and I'm not going to claim to have all the answers because I just don't, but I am feeling very motivated right now to learn from others and to do better and to be better because we need to we need to there's no other option it is quite literally life or death at this point so I did ultimately decide that I still want to upload this vlog attaching this intro onto it and I'm going to take out my normal description that I have below usually I link like my Amazon wish list and my Amazon storefront and like you know affiliate codes and stuff like that I'm gonna take all that out and instead I'm going to put some links to different resources that I have found helpful over the past several days or even before that so I'm gonna link some channels, some books, just a bunch of different things that I have really felt have helped me on this journey of trying to be an ally. I still want to share this video with you guys, but I want to let you know like if I'm happy or silly or whatever crazy like I always am in this video, it's not because I don't care. It's just because like you weren't seeing the work done on camera, if that makes sense. Like I wasn't filming it because I don't want attention for it. Like it, that's not the point. So Anyways, we're gonna jump into this video and then I will talk to you guys again at the end for a little bit of an outro. So thank you guys for joining me today. I hope that you have stuck with me through this intro and let's go ahead and get into the video. Hey there guys, welcome to a new video. If you are new here, my name is Kim. I'm a second year fourth grade teacher in West Michigan and Today is a busy day. It already has been a busy day. It's right before noon right now and I already have gotten a lot done and I'm actually tracking my to-do list a little bit differently today. So I showed me making this last night. This is going to be linked in the description box just as a freebie for fun, but I also thought I would show you guys how I made it in case you're interested in kind of tweaking it and making your own. So I use PowerPoint to make pretty much everything and I've learned how to use PowerPoint from just watching a ton of YouTube videos and I'm still honestly not great at it, but I try. <laughs> and then I use these thermal laminating pages that I just get off of Amazon and my little scotch laminator. You can see I have an Amazon one in the background too, but I like the scotch one better. And then once it was all laminated, then I used different color sticky notes and just stuck those on with all of my daily to-dos. Basically, I just needed to try something new to keep me excited, to keep me inspired. I've been using just like either Google Keep or the just no app on my phone and I wanted something that I could touch. So I made this last night. I basically just made it in PowerPoint and I'll link it as a freebie below if you want it. So the things that are pink over here are my must do's. These are the things that I want to do but like they're medium priority and then the things over here are very low priority. I don't really have to do them but I would like to do them. And then at the bottom I can move my sticky notes once I do them and then I put your hashtag goals because that's something I like to say just as like a joke. So today I already finished some of my must do's. I already did my Google Meet. I got ready, 
I emailed my students' parents about our last week of school plans because next week is our last week of school. And I had another Google meeting, but it must have fallen off when I did my first one. Yep, they're stuck together. So I had two Google meetings. So now these are the things I still need to get done today. I'm meeting with my kids today. I need to email some paperwork to HR, which I've been working on. I should put paint my nails in there because I need to paint my nails too. They're looking pretty rough. But yeah, so I will let you guys know throughout the day how this goes, but I am excited about it. I'm the type of person who likes to switch things up to keep myself excited and interested and wanting to do stuff and so so far so good today I am liking this okay so I have this pasta in this container that I'm just gonna heat up for lunch so this is what I'm gonna heat up really quick for lunch this was just a tortellini from Trader Joe's that I made last night for dinner so now it's today's lunch hey there guys so I'm just about to hop on a Google meet with my kids and it's actually our last Friday Google meet usually our meetings on Wednesdays and Fridays and our very last meeting is going to be this upcoming Wednesday but for today I wanted to do something fun so we will be baking together again today have this whole fun setup over here using Clorox wipes as a nice little standing desk and some of my kids watch my channel and so I thought it would be really funny if we make the s'mores brownies that I tried to make in a recent YouTube video but we make them the right way so fingers crossed that it goes well but I'm just about to hop on that with my kids and then I will talk to you guys after hello Oh, you were talking to your sister and you guys were getting along very well, right? If you guys hear any noise in the background, Mr. Halls is actually home today and he's working on our deck. So he's banging around out there, so you might hear that in the background. One finger for red, two fingers for blue. I told you guys in our last meeting that I made some brownies, but I burnt them. So, today I'm gonna try to make the brownies again, but I'm gonna try not to burn them. So that's the goal. So you guys need to help me out, okay? So I need to work on adding some of those other ingredients. Does anybody have a guess what else I'm gonna need to put into this? I think we're good to stir this up now. I have my three tablespoons of water, my two eggs, and my half cup of vegetable oil. says to put them in for about 20 minutes. So we'll try that first and then see how they look. Okay, so we're gonna wrap it up for today, but I will plan on seeing you guys next week. We're gonna do Lunch Bunch on Monday, and then we're gonna do our final meeting on Wednesday already. Have a good weekend, stay safe, play outside, and I will see you guys then. Love you guys, bye. Hey guys, so I just finished up my meeting with my kids. It was so fun. I did manage to get brownie batter on my shirt because of who I am as a person. In. I like leaned forward right onto the bowl, but I wanted to show you guys I use this little like clamp thing It's like a little clamp tripod. I saw this on Maylene's Instagram But I don't have the exact one that she has and I think she probably has a better one than I do because mine is not great But that's okay It worked for this purpose and that way I could show the bowl and like the pan and stuff while I was baking So that was super fun I did realize though brownies take a lot longer to cook than cookies And so we didn't get a chance to finish them together So I still have to do the marshmallow part all by myself and hopefully not mess it up. So I'm not gonna go outside this time to broil. Also I learned apparently you're supposed to crack the oven while you broil, who knew? marshmallows and I still have brownie batter on my shirt so maybe we should change that but I was talking to one of my coworkers on the phone while I was making these so that's why if you saw my phone up to my ear in the clip <laughs> I used the broiler on low and I left it open because that's what you guys told me to do and I only left it in for like a few minutes and it looks so good I honestly don't even know if the brownies are done all the way though so hopefully they are oh they're smushy I feel like 
this doesn't really work. Like the brownies were done before I added the marshmallows and broiled it, I promise. So if I stir it, maybe I can make like a really good s'mores dip and then I can put it on a graham cracker and that could be good. So we'll just do that. Okay, you guys. I feel like the lighting's probably really bad, but that's okay, we're gonna work with it. I'm just dipping a graham cracker into this, like that, and we're gonna see how it tastes. Oh my gosh, it's so good. So, now I need to finish cleaning this up, and then I still have some paperwork I need to get done today, like need to get done, because it's due on Monday, so I wanna get it done today in case I mess it up. And then, Morgan and Chelsea and I are gonna have our weekly meeting at 2.30, which is in like 20 minutes. Hey guys, so I just changed my shirt, because, you know, brownie batter, but I wanted to show you guys my little to-do list and how it's going, so I only have one more half to-do to do <laughs> on there, and then these are my want to-dos and my could do's, and then this is what I've already finished. So I just have them stacked on top of each other. Hey there guys, so I'm just about to jump on my call with Chelsea and Morgan. You can probably hear Chris washing the deck, so just ignore that, that's fine. So I decided I'm gonna add a few things to my to-do list because I feel like throughout the day I always think of more stuff I need to do. So I'm gonna add a couple low <laughs> priority things. Also, tell me if you guys do this too. Sometimes I add things to my list as I go that I know are gonna be easy for me to do so that way I can feel accomplished. So I'm FaceTiming with Morgan and Chelsea. Here they are. <laughs> and Morgan. <laughs> Hold on, I have to turn my volume back up. Morgan, what are you showing us right now? This is my bow dresser. <laughs> <laughs> I have bow wraps. It's kind of messy because I just dipped through it. And then I have all cheer and JoJo bows. <laughs> Which I do have more of, but they're like not in here. And then I have all smaller JoJo bows by color. <laughs> don't open up. Oh my god. And then these are miscellaneous bows. <laughs> Morgan. That's the size of my actual dresser for my clothes. <laughs> oh my gosh. So now it is Sunday. It is May 31 and I have been kind of in a weird headspace yesterday and today. I did get done pretty much all of my to-dos and I kept adding more stuff on here. The only thing I still haven't done is cut up my fruit and veggies so I'll have to do that sometime today. But I, for the last 24 hours probably, have been taking in a lot more media than I normally do. I normally don't really sit on my phone that long. Like sometimes I'll sit and like post an Instagram story and like just check out, you know, the first few pictures I see on Instagram, but I don't usually spend more than like 10 or 15 minutes on at a time, if that makes sense. Right now, I have been doing a lot more consuming of posts, and some of it has been really, really good, and just things that like I need to learn and I need to do better, and some of it has been really, really bad. Megan Forbes from Too Cool for Middle School, she is one of my favorite people to follow, and she always has been, and she shared a video within like the last couple weeks, I think, where she shared 10 books that every white person should read read and I found that video to be very helpful. Some of them I had already read, some of them are on my TBR list, and some of them I had never heard of before. And I, I've talked to you guys in previous vlogs about how I am doing a book study with a bunch of other teachers and that has been very eye-opening as well. But I think I'm just realizing like I really need to do better and I need to work harder at this because you can't be passively anti-racist and I think for a long time that's what I thought I was being was anti-racist but I wasn't showing it in all capacities of my life. And so anyways, just all that to say, I need to do better and I'm working to do better and learn more, but that's been a lot of what I've been doing the past 24 hours is doing a lot of reading and researching and watching videos and whatever. But now I decided I'm just gonna take a little break from my phone for now. I, I, I say that, but I like just posted on it a little bit ago, but I'm gonna try to take a little break. My best friend Melissa is actually coming over later. We're gonna stay outside and not be like right up by each other, but she is coming over and I got her a little end of the school year gift so I got us these t-shirts. I found these on Etsy. I'll link the store below They are like this really soft Bella canvas brand and I got her a pink one that just has the shape of Michigan And then teacher and cursive in the middle and then I got myself a Yellow one because you guys know I love the color yellow and these are super soft and they're just gonna be really cozy And I thought they would make for a really cute picture So I got her that and then I also grabbed her some little mini erasers last time I was at the Target dollar spot and I feel like there was something else else I got her but I'm not seeing it by me so I'll just say that this is it for now but I'm just gonna like
like get some string and tie it up all cute and give that to her when she comes over so hopefully she likes that and when she comes over we are going to be tie-dyeing so I actually found a tie-dye kit I had bought some just like individual bottles that I showed you guys in a recent video but then I saw this and had to pick it up it was the last one and I figured this will probably last for a little while I mean actually I don't know can you save the dye I don't really know how that works but hopefully we will get to use at least some of these and that will be fun and then I picked Melissa up a shirt and then I have a couple shirts in the wash right now so that will be fun and then also I went to the dollar store yesterday because I was finishing up picking up some things for my kids end of year gift and I found this really cute book it's just like a hardcover cool down book a book about working through anger and I thought this was really cute and would be perfect for my cool down bucket and then also I picked up just like a nice hardcover I think this is probably a young adult book yeah on the back it says young adult but I just picked up a book because I really enjoy having like actual hard books and I've gotten more used to reading on my iPad but it's still not my favorite thing and then I got a book in the mail which this is one I have been wanting for a long time so I'm super excited to have this and this actually was purchased for me off of my Amazon wish list from Brooke so Brooke thank you so much her message said hi Kim my fourth graders loved this book and I can't wait to use it in first grade as I'm moving there this year it was fun to have my kiddos write a point of view piece with them being the balloon in the parade I hope you love it from Brooke so Brooke thank you so much I am definitely super excited to add this to my book collection and then I'm kind of going out of order but I picked these up at Dollar Tree I thought those were super cute in the mail yesterday I got a new base coat that came this is just the Orly Bonder base coat I've been using this since high school and I love it it's like the best base coat I've ever tried and then I also picked up just some rubber bands for our tie-dyeing so all sorts of fun stuff oh and I um we got a salad spinner for our wedding but I cannot find it for the life of me so I picked up just like a really cheap salad spinner yesterday too so I'm excited to have this in my life and that's kind of why I was holding off to do the fruit and veggies because I just thought it would be so much better if I had a salad spinner so now I do. So now I'm going to work on getting all this stuff cleaned up and then I'm going to work on getting Melissa's cute little gift all put together. So like I said, I'll probably just like roll this up and then maybe I, I probably have a bag downstairs in the storage room that I could use and then I'll just put these inside. So that's the game plan. Let's clean this up first and then we can go do that. Okay, so I have Melissa's shirt and then I found this little bag downstairs. Usually we keep just like some extra bags. So I have this all set up in here for her when she gets here in just a minute. And then I have a few t-shirts because I've been wanting to tie-dye for a while so I kind of just collected them. This top one is actually the same brand of shirt that I'm wearing right now. You can get these in the men's section at Target for $6 and they're super soft. So I actually have a few of these at this point. I just like getting them like oversized and wearing them with leggings. And then I have just like a basic Gildan brand one. And then and I also ordered this champion long sleeve one off of Amazon. So I have three of those. I'm going to try to do them like different colors and design. So we'll see. It's been a long time since I tie dyed. So we'll see how those turn out. And then here is the tie dyeing stuff. So I have the big pack and then I have three of these individual bottles. And then I have a bunch of rubber bands. And I found these at the dollar store when I went yesterday. I don't really know if I would need them for anything. But I just grabbed them just in case. And then there's gloves in that pack, but we also have some too if we need them. So we are just about good to go. And I think Melissa's gonna be here in just a little bit. So yay. All right, end of your gift. Wow, so nice. Okay, this is the cat room from the outside. Oh, I like that. Ooh, this looks cute. Sure, Michigan teacher. Yay, sure. I got so myself cute. one in yellow. Wow, That's, I, I brought that. it out so I could show you. I kind of <laughs> wondered when I saw it. I know, thing. I was trying to hide it. It's okay, I didn't know. Yeah, I yeah. I was like, maybe she's hiding the yellow shirt. Yeah, who knows, right? It's so cute though, thank Is you. Is that fun? I got and it on my Etsy. Favorite color. It's happening. <laughs> wow, there are two Minion of them in there racers. somewhere. Wait, They're there summer ones. ones. Oh, cute, it's a yeah. cupcake. So Melissa has tie-dyed a lot in her day and she was just teaching me how. So Melissa, can you please give one more quick tutorial? Yes, so you're either gonna want your shirt damp or dry depending on what you want. If it's damp, it'll be like less white on your shirt and if it's dry, you'll probably get more white. No guarantees, obviously. And then I like to lay it out flat. Okay. And then I'm doing this spiral tie day. So what I do is I always reach for like a bottom corner and that's where the center of my spiral is gonna be. And then you just kind of grab like a little bit and you just twist Ooh. and twist and then kind of like tuck in the edges as you go so that you get a nice little spiral Fun. shape. Keep going and it doesn't have to be perfect. Woo. And so you wrap it into like a little roll and then what you'll do is put three rubber bands. So one here, one here, and one here like a little snowflake. Amazing, the queen of tie-dye. Yeah, I'm so maybe. excited. <laughs> Woo. Hey 
guys thank you for watching all the way until the end of the video i hope that you guys enjoyed this and i hope that you are learning more right now and you're doing the work and doing the research and if not i hope that my introduction maybe strikes a chord and knowing that there's maybe more you can do than what you're doing right now and i don't know you all obviously who are watching this but i do know myself and i know that i've seen stuff like this happen before and i know that i thought in my heart like it's so wrong i can't believe this is happening but i haven't said anything about it and i haven't spoken up and i'm learning a lot and i just want to reiterate like don't let being scared of saying things incorrectly or imperfectly keep you from saying anything at all because we we all have a voice and especially as teachers like we are all influencers which whether you have a youtube channel or an instagram page or not like you are an influencer you're influencing somebody you have family and friends and if you're a teacher you have students and i do think it's our moral and civic obligation to speak up when things are wrong and right now there's a lot of wrong going on and so anyways i'm not perfect i don't have all the answers and i'm i'm just now learning and so i definitely want to point you in the right direction of some people who have really put in the work and done the research and shared you know their truths and so i'm going to be linking a bunch of people and articles and books in the description box just some things that i think would be a good place to get started but like i said like there's so many people who are more educated on this than i am like i'm just one person so please 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 check out some of those links below and um, just start doing that work because I think it's so important. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.